section over here. We got some uh, awesome stuff in store for y'all. Awesome stuff in store for you guys for tonight. An amazing recipe. We'll have to jump up on it. Why it's not kicking on yet? There we go. Now it's starting to kick on. All right. How you guys doing? We gotta let this catch up with this, so. And yes, I know guys, I need a haircut. How are they supposed to cut it today? But we didn't get to doing that. We're still a little under the weather. Uh, but we wanted to do this for you guys tonight. Couldn't do a live on Thursday last week or Tuesday. <laughs> and we're still not feeling the best, but we come. We had to do this one for you guys tonight, so uh, bear with us. But it's going to be an awesome recipe. There's lots of people hop on here before we uh, before we get going. Everybody say hi once you're on. Everybody say hi. Hey, John, what's going on, buddy? Grizzly, how's it going, man? So, uh, what, nine people on here right now? What, more people jump up? On here. John Latham's in the house. <laughs> in the house with Holly and John the best. <laughs> You're a funny guy, John. Austin Outdoors, how you doing? Sean Durant, man. No, I didn't go to the island. That's I'm posting the video from a week and a half ago, man. We've been sick. Heck no, I didn't go to the island. I've been late on videos. I've got, I've still got hunting videos I haven't posted yet. They're coming. Hey, Dave, what's going on, man? Yeah, John Stephen was very excited over that bow. But anyways, we got 11 people watching. We're going to turn this right now to Holly here in a second. She's going to explain to you uh, what we're doing for, for uh, In the Kitchen with Holly tonight. I can't wait to eat it. Um, of course, it's wild game. Of course, it's wild game. So... We're going to turn this to Holly, and she's going to explain to you what exactly we're doing tonight. So, uh, go ahead, huh? Okay, so we're going to be making some pheasant florentine. Okay, and how are we going to do that? What's, what's your... Well, I'm not going to explain it all until I'm doing it as I go. Okay, However, so... the first thing I had to do was to brine the pheasant in... Uh, they say just salt water, but I like to add seasonings and onion, because I like to add onion to everything. Um, so that, you know, between 30 minutes to an hour refrigerated and then just go from there okay so there you have it. we're having pheasant florentine and wait till you guys see some of the ingredients in this bugger man i'm telling you guys what uh we were going to do the pheasant tacos we were we still got uh bob barham dropped us off 30 pheasants 30 duck so we're we got some so we got some um or 20 pheasant 20 duck sorry Holly just informed me I was wrong on my math as usual. No, I'm very good at math, believe it or not. But uh, we we might do duck tacos. We might do duck tacos. Okay, but I still want to do the venison pot pie. Venison pot pie does sound amazing. That might be our next week's episode, venison pot pie. It just oh, sucked. Yeah, it's it's the... been it was suggested and since then I can't stop. Hey Jeff, what's it. going on, buddy? Um, we we are. I'm still losing weight. That's good. Uh, we don't want to get too far out of the ballpark with our diet. So we're trying to keep this in check a little bit here. But hey, Pat, what's going on, man? Sorry I'm late. Just got back from the island. Very slow day for everyone. Ended up with 17 and fish for six and a half hours. Yeah, that is slow. That is a slow day. It's been slow over there. Last week's been pretty slow. Uh, we caught it right there at the tail end when it was starting to slow off. But look at what the weather's been doing. Let it stabilize, y'all. Let it stabilize. There were some guys over on the island I know yesterday did very well, but they went to spots nobody else goes. And I, that's one thing I will not do is blow those spots out. I will not give information on those spots, not even to my own brother. So uh, it's something between me and my buddies. They did very well on crappie yesterday, but I, I can't tell you guys where. But I know where there is perch biting. I can tell you that there's some perch biting too. Hey, King Sam, what's going on? Ken set sends the crappies. That's why I don't fish a lot with Sean. He can't count. <laughs> John, you're a funny guy. You're a funny guy. Uh, blow, blow. Yeah. <laughs> That's why the name of my boat is One Over. <laughs> and that boat's coming out here real soon. I got some awesome reports of a lot of good things going on, and I can't take it no more. 
as soon as I'm over the sickness, I'm on that water. I promise you guys that. But I uh, got a master angler sunfish, nine and eight. Nice. See, I see uh, Josh Hall does it a lot, and uh, a lot of guys chase those master anglers fish. Uh, the fish that I, that I won the contest Dan put on over there, thump him, hey, how you doing, man? Right there's Dan. Dan put a contest on over there who caught the biggest gal on the island, and we all know who's going to win that, right? So I had four fish that were 10 inches. Yeah, me, but I couldn't go. Holly couldn't go. I had four fish that were 10 inches. Remember that con the day before? I had two, this is no bull crap, I had two bluegills that were 11 inches. One was just shy of 11, but one was just over 11. So that makes up for they're both 11, they're, you know, they're both just over 11. I mean, great big, if they were the ones to mount, that'd be, that'd be the ones to mount, you know, if, if you were going to mount one. I don't really care about the master angler. Uh, my son likes to chase around that patch and all that, but I think I've caught a master angler everything. I know I've caught the sturgeon, I know I've caught the bourbon, I know I've caught the walleye, I know I've caught the bluegill, the crappie, the perch, you name it, I've caught master anglers. Would it be cool to have all the patches? Absolutely. But it's something cool for a lot of people to do. Uh, and, I, and I respect you guys for doing that, but I just don't chase that patch. It's just too much work. I'd rather clean it and eat it. So, ask Callie what he calls six inches. Yeah, John. <laughs> You tied with mean green. No, greens was a little smaller, but I seen the fish. I seen the fish thump them. I seen the fish. And John's funny. Yeah, see, when somebody catches a perch just long, they'll say they caught a 12-inch perch, right? That's 8 inches long. I proved it. I proved it to you guys. Hey, Rebecca, how's it going? Saul, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, Dan, you measured them after I was gone and the contest was already done. I know, I know. But anyways, I had a couple of 11s anyhow. Uh, it was funny because while we were standing there, I was like, here, check this one. I'll measure that one. And I had a bigger one in the bucket anyway, Dan. But I knew I'd win it with a 10-inch fish. I knew I would. Thanks. I love the beard, too. <laughs> it's going to come off sooner or later. It's going to come off sooner or later. <laughs> You were supposed to measure it and release it, and that's why you don't participate in it. <laughs> I eat them. Heck yeah. I eat them, man. Uh, I love. Don't get me wrong. I think that's something cool that they do. Uh, the Meps Challenge is a good one to do. Uh, check that out for the Master Anglers. If you catch all of them, they'll give you a bunch of stuff. So that's a cool thing to do if you're gonna chase Master Anglers patches. Do it. Do it through the Meps because you'll accomplish something more than a patch. You know. Um, now catching a tag fish, that's that's a rarity. That's awesome. I love doing that and calling those in, or shooting a bird with a band on it, or or a deer with a tag in it. That that's something special, you know. So to me, but I do a lot of fishing, so I get I've caught I caught my master angler's fish when I was so young. Um, but my son Sean's chasing it right now. I, he's got like thirteen master angler patches of some sorts. Of, I don't even know. You know, he got pike and bass, and I don't know what else he's got, but. Might go fish the Black Creek at Metro for perch tomorrow. Yeah, I heard it was good there, too. Uh, we didn't, I don't, John, they told us, I, I had a COVID test, I had a flu test, I had a RSV test, all negative. Uh, they said it was bronchitis and um, an upper respiratory infection. I probably believe that's what it is. I, I'm taking prednisone. Haven't took no antibiotic yet. I'm just feeling droggy, dizzy, stuff like that. Oxygen level dropped way down. I didn't like that. Um... But other than that, we're getting through it. We're getting through it. So, crazy. You never know what illness you're going to catch in Michigan anymore. In the whole United States, you can you just catch something. So. And I feel completely better. So. Yeah, Holly's 100% better. So, hopefully today or... or <laughs> hopefully tomorrow or the next day, I'm, I'm good to go. Uh, that's what you had for a month. <laughs> don't, don't say that. Don't say you had it for a month, Dan. Don't be scaring me now, man. Um, <laughs> right now is the time to head up. It's going to be on my next fishing report, but right now is the time to head up to, I'm telling you guys right now, head on up to Sea Wing, fish behind Alexander's Bait and Tack, where a river comes in the marina, catch your perch, go over to the marina, catch your bluegills and crappies. That's all I'm going to say. It's worth the drive up. <coughs> no fishing for you, my turn. Yeah, I'll be fishing. He says, my turn. <laughs> I'd like to start a warming fly fishing group. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Oh, there comes some spam. There's some spam. 
Your name does too, buddy. Your name does. Thanks. Thanks, Holly. You're welcome. It's not far from you, Chris. Now's the time to head over there, man. Talk to Les. Tell Les I sent you. He'll hook you up. Um. Anyways, is there anything else you wanted to discuss right yet? Um. I mean, I'm ready to pull it out of the uh, fridge now. It's been okay. long enough. All right, so I'll let you get that over there. The Hunt Chef logo, eat what you kill. <laughs> so she's got the pheasant right there. It's all been brining in that. Well, I'll go ahead and show them. Yep, it's been brining in that. And what's in that again, hon? That has got um, salt, uh, hunt chef, which is the uh, feather duster. Feather duster, hunt chef. And then onion. And onion. Okay, so you're just going to drain it now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so while she's draining that... Uh, hey Bill, what's going on? Uh, pheasant. We're having pheasant. What's it called? Florentine. Pheasant Florentine is what we're having, Bill. <coughs> oh, it looks beautiful. I'm going to kind of show that over there. It looks awesome in there. Let's throw in for you guys. Look at that. And we're pheasant breast right there. Oh, yeah, and I put diced celery in it, too. Oh. And some diced celery. All right. So as she's going step through step here, we'll walk you through it as we go, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay, so he's I'll be right over. Huh? It do, it is pretty simple. It is a simple recipe. Holly's throwing stuff at me over here, guys. She's... They all understand. You're not getting any sympathy. <laughs> um. So do you need me to put it back on you then? Uh yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna. All right, go ahead. Did it take it out of the? That's pheasant breast. You can see there's some. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in again. You can see there's some celery on it. You're supposed to pat it dry before you season it. So. Uh, Jay's doing a lot better. He's doing a lot better. He's got to have surgery yet. Uh, but he'll be all right. He'll be he'll be doing them scooter tricks before we know it. And back in the hospital. And back in the hospital before you know it again. Jason's doing good though. Sean, uh, Sean Jr. is there at Sparse Tech Custom Rods. My son, Sean, he's got a, a, a rod going right now. I can't really show you guys because he's not here. He's with my dad, but he's got a um, casting rod going out. Uh, He's making right now. Wait till you guys see that. Wait till you guys see that. That's an awesome rod. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. He got awesome blanks. Um, high end stuff. But wait till you guys see the rod. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous already. And he ain't even really started yet. And Holly's being very uh, picky here. I don't see what she's picking apart. Oh, it's just a little feather. Is that dead? Sounds like it, but Sounds my like... phone didn't go off, so no. Okay, it's not. Okay. Well, yeah, no, it would have. Okay. So you guys are just watching those pheasants. Is there anything else I need to show them right now? Uh, no, not until I get them all laid out. Okay, so. What she's doing is she's going to get those all laid out, and then she's going to pat them dry, correct? Yep. And then, and then I'll have to show you guys what she's doing. So, uh, John, we just they were donated to us by the Rooster Ranch. Bob Barham brought them over uh, 20 duck breasts, and, or 20... Full, I should say, duck breast and twenty full pheasant breast. So, so a huge shout out to the Rooster Ranch. A huge for shout that. out to the Rooster Ranch, absolutely for that. And Bob Barham was nice of them. So it's just the breast. I had to flay the breast off the bone. So uh, a lot of guys just want their birds breasted. And they end up leaving them there and they get stuck in the freezer. And he's like, "You want some?" I'm like, "Yep, <laughs> absolutely." So, yep, we like to do the whole pheasant, but we didn't have the whole pheasant this time. Last time, oh my gosh, oh. that was so good. That was excellent. But yeah, yeah. Thanks for asking, Jeff. Jason's doing a lot better. I think he's working. Actually, he back to work on? I uh, I'm not sure. I texted him earlier, but I didn't get a response. You know, typical kid. I trade pheasant for baits. <laughs> I'm sure you would, Dan. 
I'm sure you would. I'll just win your next contest and win a bunch of baits again. I don't want to tell him to come get a plate, but, uh... Yeah, Dan, you know you're always welcome to come over and grab a plate. You know you're always welcome. Dan's come here many times. What are you guys cooking? And we have him something ready when he gets here. Oh, yeah. That's how it goes. Same with Mr. Latham. We always come and we're going to make breakfast or whatever. Whatever it may be, we're going to make some... We'll make some fish. He'll call them my walleyes, but they're legit perch. Uh, <laughs> John calls them my walleye place because he likes to mess with me. But when, Latham, when I have people come over, I always make sure they're fed. Yep, absolutely, Dan. What? What are you looking at me like that for? How often do you cook? Um, not often, as often as you do. I'm just saying. You cook a lot. Do you cook and eat much pork? Uh, we do. Um, uh, not a whole lot not of that, too but much, no. We but do we, eat it. We do eat it. We'll, we'll do some pork chops here and there, but I'd rather have venison. Just, it's it's just the way I was raised, uh, you know, grew up eating that stuff. So when you eat something from processed, store bought, junk, I call it. It's just not as good to me. But we do like pork chops from now now and again, you know. That's cannibalism. What's cannibalism? <laughs> Bye comment. <laughs> hey Brent Jackson, how's it going? Last fest I cooked was roadkill. Nice, hey. At least you didn't let it go to waste. And I want to thank all my sponsors here behind me. Rooster Ranch, Banger Hand Tie Jigs, Higher Quality, Buck Set Pads, Arctic Spinners, Goodfellas Catering and Barbecue, Chain Town Jigs, Undertow Thompson's, Camel Jojo, Hunt Chef, Hunt Chef, Hunt Chef, Hunt Chef, High C, Dead End Tackle, Jay's Marine Hardware, Triple Threat, Bootleg coolers, razor rods, runkle, catch the fever, I yo yo. <clears throat> DJ's tackle, scales fish attractant. We'll leave Thump them out of there. No, I'm just kidding. Thump and plastics and John Latham customer follows. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. How he got rid of him. I don't know where Pat's at. Pat's usually on him. Pat's usually on him. Quick. Oh, should I be putting it back on you now? I mean, if you want them to see what I'm doing. Okay, so what are you doing? I am now seasoning, which I'm not doing a whole lot of pepper because to me, the only time I like pepper, I like a lot of it, is on cottage cheese. Other than that, I'm not a pepper fan. And I hate cottage cheese. Uh, it depends on the brand. Just tread mirrors to the left, no fish. That sucks, man. There's fish around. And this is garlic powder. A little bit of garlic powder. And then... Of course, all dusted up. Hunt Chef, all dusted up. And the smell of that stuff right there is absolutely amazing. Look at the way it just colors that in beautiful. It just colors it so beautiful. John says, uh, John Kukuk says he's with you on the pepper and cottage cheese. <laughs> yes. I like a little pepper in my coleslaw. I mean, yeah, but I just, no. Mm-mm. I'm not big on pepper. Not even in the fish? Huh? Not even in the fish? No, not even when you catch fish with the pepper, no. Not the pre-season peppers or the corn grubs. We like to leave those fish for the birds. What you use for smoking? I don't have a smoker no more, uh, Brent. The smoker funds are now in the car funds. <laughs> Jason said his foot hurts. His foot hurts. Jason, Jason said his ankle hurts. Kurt Adolf said that's not nearly enough. <laughs> Kurt, you're welcome to stop by and have some pheasant, buddy. Come on over. You just live around the corner. Kurt's going to be say. actually uh, helping me. My boat's over in his barn, so we're going to be pulling the boat out, and me and Kurt's going to do the floor on my boat here real soon. Kurt, if you want to stop over, buddy, stop on over. There's lots of pheasant. 
He said that's not nearly enough. What season? Uh, oops, somebody blocked us. No, he says message retracted. He might have deleted oh, it. Oh, he might have deleted it. Yeah. Okay. So anything else we need to tell him? Uh, no, not currently. Just kind of seasoning in the other side? Yep. Same gotta thing? Make sure, yep, you gotta make sure it's all evenly coated. And I am not putting pepper on this side, so. There's a dumb comment. She looks like the neighbor next door across the street that poisoned me. No, that was your mother. What would you use for rubs? Uh, Hunt Chef. <laughs> Nowadays, I'd use Hunt Chef. For rubs back then, it it all, it just it all depended. Uh, Gander Mountain was open back then, so I used to go in there and just get their pre uh, pre packaged stuff. So, do I need to keep this on you, babe? Um. Hold on. I'm focused here and that's distracting me, so. Okay, so I gotta put it on me right now because Holly's gotta focus. And she don't like the camera a lot, guys. She's getting better with it, though. So, everybody give her a round of applause. She's getting better with it. 24 people watching, 9 thumbs up. Everybody hit that like. What one would I recommend for, uh rubs on a smoker right now just check out hunt chef brent jackson there's so many different ones and i recommend every one of them there's not one i'm not going to recommend check out hunt chef okay. so there you go 16 people on here now so a lot of those are spammers sure. somebody says i need you yeah sure um okay let me turn this back we got a spammer on here Pat, where are you at? We're going back to Holly here. What are you doing now, hon? I am coating the uh, pheasant breasts in flour, which I also seasoned the flour with a little bit of Hunt Chef because I like a lot of flavor in my food. I don't like bland food. So what Hunt Chef did you use in the flour? Uh, I used the uh, party fowl. Party fowl. Yep. Okay. Did that spammer get taken care of? No. Pat Allen needs to jump back on here and take care of the spammer. Uh, no, man. We're cooking some pheasant. Hey, hi, Muddy. What's going on, buddy? You always do this, hi, Muddy. All right, so do you want it still to be on you? It doesn't matter. I'm so you're just, just coating. You so you're talk. just coating. I can talk now. I like to talk. Uh, we know. And I got to see who's saying stuff. Uh, what up, people? That's good from New Zealand. What's cooking in the... Uh, yeah, nope, it is pheasant. It's uh, pheasant. Florentine is what it's called. Uh, hey, Bob. There he is. That's who gives the pheasants, man. Variety of traits for pheasant. Hint, hint. <laughs> mom says, bad blurry. Sorry, Mom. I, I wasn't watching. I was looking over here while Holly was over there. Um, right now, I'll just turn it back to where she's just, she's just battering, she's just battering it up, putting the pheasant breast into the, into the flower hunt chef's, uh, party fall she put in together there, mixture. Mm -hmm. So that's what she's doing for now. And Dan, Dan Gark said he does trades for pheasants, Bob. Uh, he needs some more baits. Uh, he could use some pheasants. I just got done guiding a 50 bird hunt. Man, that had to be a fun one today. Was it a successful hunt or just junk runners again? Probably running. I, I'm going to guess running. No cover. How, how'd they do out of the 50? Yes, I do, Brent. Yes, I do. Uh, smoker's going out to my dad's when we get one. Absolutely. 
think I'm one of those pellet smokers, maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Probably. I don't know. Shot 44, mess 13. That's not bad. That's a good hunt. That's a good hunt. So a 50 bird hunt, and they still seen more birds than they, than they, uh, paid for. So, that's good. 57 birds put up. That's good. That's good. Shot 44. I know, I figured you had to shoot a few of them. <laughs> I figured probably a probably good majority of them. We seen we seen these breasts that you give us a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh, some of them were just blown. I mean, like people were using eight shot at five yards or something, man. <laughs> Never had pheasant. What's it compared to, if anything? Uh, I'm going to have to say a mixture between a rabbit and... Pheasant is, to me, to, to compare it to anything, would be like a, a mix between a rabbit and a mallard. Or, or a rabbit and a chicken, even. Would be my... That'd be the best way to compare it to. Pheasant's got its own beautiful flavor. Very delicate meat. It's very tender. So tender. It's just an awesome, awesome, awesome tasting bird. It's not like your wild turkey that's tough. You got to cook them for 12 and a half days. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But it's not like your wild turkey where they're tough, you know, and you really got to cook them or, or put them in the uh, slow cooker for a very long time to get them tender. These things are tender. Uh, they dry out easily. They do dry out easily. So you got to do what you got to do to keep them moist. Um, Try not to overcook them. Yeah, try not to overcook them. But they're they're awesome. They're absolutely amazing and they're healthy for you. And they're a great bird. Yep. <coughs> yeah, rabbit and chicken. Yep, yeah, that's what I that's about the best to compare it to. I'm in more bird near me. Sometimes see thirty birds out in a field. Love when they run on the road. Yeah, yes sir. Nice. They run just slow enough you can have yourself a dinner. <laughs> Sounds like Peep's getting up out there. Uh, do you use digital thermometer? Yes. It yeah, we do. Yep. It changed my life having overcooked a piece of meat and fish. Absolutely. Yep. I use a, I use a digital thermometer. Uh, right here. And the internal temp on these are supposed to be 165? Uh, yes. Between it, 150 and 170. Let's not get too technical. Well, no. One, with this, I would definitely say because I would not want salmonella. So I would definitely have these at... Well, it says when the internal temperature reaches 160 to take them off the heat because the temperature will continue to rise. Yep. And it will. Oh, that, yeah. there, there's your way of not overcooking them. Just pull them off right before they hit temp, but not too far before. Yes, absolutely. So she's just coating them still. So, yeah. I'm double coating them just because I like. Okay. okay. Now, what do you preheat the oven to? Uh, we don't. Oh, that's right. We're, we're cooking them in a pan. Yep. Pan seared, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, we're pan searing these. Technically, that's actually, we're not just searing them. We are so has everybody else been good? Everybody else been, everybody else having a good time lately? We've been six. We, we haven't been able to do much of anything. Sucks. Yep, always allow a few a few degrees of rise on rest. Yep, absolutely. He said, well said, huh? Well, he said, he said, but I don't know who he is. High I'm and muddy say. fishing. There you go. You know, you, I don't like, you don't like it when I call him high and muddy. That, that is high and muddy. You yeah. say high and mighty. I say, I say high and muddy. Oh, I'm you. Pheasant fajitas. I know, Bob. I know. We need to do that. I know. We need to do it. We've got pheasant in the freezer to do that, we've too. Got, hey, we've got pheasant and duck in the freezer. However, I'm still not over this. She whole... wants to do the damn uh, venison pot pies. pot pies. I think that's what we're going to do next. Well, if they've been frozen, shouldn't be any parasites. No, they have been frozen. My action was 96 of the doctors. Good job, Mom. That's awesome. Awesome to hear. 
Been stuck in one of those beautiful weeks. Crappy weekend. Pattern flip. Yeah, we, we've, our patterns here have been. I just wish the weather would make up its mind. Uh, I just I wanted to stay like 60. Yeah, if it, if it 65. stayed 65, 60, 65, that'd be great, but we get one day of that and then back down to the 40s and 20s at night. It's terrible. It's terrible weather. It's ruining everything we got. We got smell seasons opening up on opening up on the 20th for the big nets, and we can't wait for that. Uh, it'd be nice to go down smelt dip and have some decent weather. Okay, so let's turn us back to Holly. <clears throat> What are you doing here, huh? So I'm adding one tablespoon <coughs> of olive oil. One tablespoon of olive oil. I don't know if they can see that or not. Hopefully. And then one. She's thinking. And one tablespoon of butter. One. One tablespoon of olive oil. And one tablespoon of butter. <coughs> and one tablespoon of butter. Goes in. Add it for her. And then that's going to go on medium high heat. That's all for now. Okay. So some. Olive oil and butter, tablespoon. Of each. Of each. Oh yeah, we always get the smell. We like to get, not like we did when I was a kid, but we still get some good smell. We do. We do well on smell. We love smell. Don't like cleaning them, but we love them. Cleaning them ain't bad. You barely ever clean them. I do though. I clean a lot of smell. You clean smell. The kids clean most of them. The kids clean most of them. So we've got 25 people watching. Everybody hit that like. If you don't hit that like, we know we got some spammers in the group. You know we got some spammers in here again. Little parasites. Hey Al, how you doing man? So she's just mixing the stuff together, letting it melt. Uh, since you're here now, we're doing a pheasant Florentine. She's already talked. She's already. Uh, you can rewatch it to see if we can get caught up to where we're at when we're done here. But hey, but you know what's up, man? I can't remember getting herring with the. I I remember that too. I remember that too. Those those herring are gone. Uh, Steven says hi, Holly. Hello. Tell him I said hi to John or uh, Grizzly. John. I hit it right when I get on always. <laughs> yep. I know you do. You're usually the first one to hit a like. Yep. There's some spammers in here, y'all. Just waiting for them to parasite on here so we can get them off. I don't know what happened to Pat Allen, though. What, a, what about suckers? Yeah, there's... Holly's knocking the camera stand over. There's suckers, uh... This sucker's starting up in the creeks right now, Danny. Yep, they're starting. Oh, I better turn this back on her. She didn't let me know what she was I doing here. I tried to. You were talking. All right, here we go. So what are you doing now? Just now putting... I am frying them in the pan uh, until golden brown, about two minutes per side. Depends, though, because, like, your littler pieces, those, those probably cook a lot quicker, so. Okay. So we'll see what those look like when they're golden brown. So we'll see what those look like when we're golden when they're golden brown. Pat said he had fish to clean and got off. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Now I know where Pat went. What's going with the meat? Any vegetables? <laughs> uh yeah. Cook something them off. Yeah, we're cooking pheasant florentine. Uh those of you who missed how we prepared this, or how Holly prepared this, I should say, you can go ahead and watch up to probably like the first 15 minutes in, and you'll see how we're, exactly we did this. But yeah, skip over the parts that have skip over, <laughs> skip over the parts that have me, and you'll see what she's using for ingredients and stuff. So, uh, Hunt Chef seasoning, hands down to them guys for nailing everything they make. 
um, Hunt Chef. Check them out. Use my discount code Spars Outdoors and get it now because supplies don't last. They'll make a bunch up and it'll go real quick. So <coughs> it's very good. It's very good. A lot of my subscribers are already ordered and love it. Won't buy nothing else. Kind of same like us. When's the book coming? Uh, what book? Is there a live skip option? <laughs> yeah. Nice, smart, smart comment there, Dan. Smart comment. <laughs> oh, when's the cookbook coming? <laughs> no cookbooks, man. We're busy. Jay Seth, what's up, Amp? Amp Edwards, hook something by the mouth. Jason Spar, what's going on, son? Uh, <laughs> yep, that's what happened to your leg. That's what happened to your leg, bud. Oh, these are looking good. Let me turn it back over here. They smell so good. They smell so good. Can't wait for them to be done. Holly's Kitchen Cookbook must have. Go ahead and you you go ahead and make that up, Dan. For all of our recipes, we'll sell them gladly. I have a good cast iron pan. I just get lazy sometimes and don't want to wash it. Yeah, she has a good cast iron pan. She does. Well, you'll learn right here on this channel, Amp. Uh, <coughs> every Tuesday is in the kitchen with Hallie. And it's 90%, 99% wild game and fish. So we'll teach you some stuff right here. And you can always go back and watch the video and there's your cookbook. Watch In the Kitchen with Holly episodes and you'll get a whole cookbook of great recipes. And they're not overly complicated. Like, I'm not a chef. I've never gone to culinary school. I've never anything like that. We um, just wing a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like, I mean, when I first got with Holly, I was just throwing some stuff together. Make it. Remember, the venison was excellent and we never knew what I did. Yeah. Just winging it. Winging it, winging it, winging it. <laughs> I think that's somehow some of the best meals come out, though, honestly. John said, never wash cast iron. Yeah, I, tech, I, I didn't word that right. Cleaned it, not wash. Clean, when I clean it. Good evening, Skip. How you doing, buddy? <coughs> I got this damn cough. Gonna eat more cough drops. More cough drops. You need to find me a cough drop sponsor. <laughs> need to get me a into the pharmaceutical company sponsor. Not even close yet, huh? Really? That's why I said 150. In the pan while it's cooking. Mm -hmm. She's checking temp. It is. Cooking is a big science experiment. Season it good, only need to be rinsed out. And That's true, Danny. Re -oil. Re -oil. Danny won't re-oil it. Well, you kind of have to, otherwise I don't know how it would keep it from rusting. Did you see the news about Nick Kerr today? Uh-uh. Nope. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, bud. I don't even know a Nick Kerr, I don't think. Do you? Nick Kerr? It's sounding, it's sounding so good, it's smelling so good, you guys don't even know. I wish you could smell through the phone. 
We got 31 people watching. Everybody hit that like or we're going to know you're a spammer and get the hell on out of here, please. Read my last message. Let me go to John. Just heat it up good the next day and wipe it out with a paper towel. Okay, all right. You have surgery on Friday, huh, Jay? Well, you got somebody taking you or no? If not, I'll take you. If I'm feeling better. Okay. Alrighty. Who's taking you? Ain't been stopping around here. I should have come. taking you. Uh, the next island trip's coming up very soon. Very soon. Very, very, very soon. As soon as I'm over the sickness, buddy, I'm going to be heading back over there. But before I go over there, I think I'm going to go up and I'm going to head to Sea Wings. I might do that within the next day or two. If I feel better, I'm going to Sea Wings. I glitched out. You don't know what I just said. I said I should come over and break your other leg because you never call or stop by anymore. Okay, Josh, I will. I might go Saturday, Dan says. Let's, why don't we just make a trip up there then? Why don't we go to a seed point? What's it going to hurt? Nothing. I can catch fish on that island any day of the week, you know. I like going up to seed wing. I like it. There's a lot of silverfish going on right now. Uh, two more days I'll be doing my fish report for tomorrow. i got to upload a Harsons Island video that's a week old. Uh, but yeah, definitely... There's a lot of silver fishing going on right along the boardwalks. We're out in the boat trolling. I'm pulling my boat out the next day or two. Me and Kurt Adolph's going to hop in that and start start working on that and get it ready. I just The only thing I need to do is replace the back <laughs> half of the floor. I don't really need to. It's, it's, it's something I want to do. And I want to give it a real good deep cleaning and uh, get everything organized. So a lot of trolling to be done here real soon. Yeah, that, that island video is coming out. I did one good island video already, but this this one's gonna be a pretty good one. It's gonna be pretty good. I, I got I ha I made some good points in there. Go ahead and check the internal temp on that now, babe. That's been sitting there, and I'll turn the camera back on you. The camera's back on Holly. We pulled some out. She's pulled some out here, and we got an internal temp. Let me zoom in on that. Of. <coughs> Just under 160. I mean, it's still going. Just under 160. Oh, yeah, it's been sitting there. I mean, like, this one's going to be a lot cooler because it's very thin teeth, you know. I, I bet you that one, let's take a guess, that one's going to go up to 160. No. Oh, I thought you were on the back one. I'm looking at the camera not the yeah uh, yes sir it was some good ones Josh says hey Holly hey awesome lost most of the island footage broke the SD card oh that sucks man a cookbook for you and Holly sounds like a good idea create some great revenue a lot, it does sound like a good idea. A lot, just like the merch, everybody wanted me to do merch that was going to take off. I'm still waiting on people to order merch. Nobody even orders that, so. That's, I we, say nobody, but I mean, some people do. Some people order it, but we put a lot of money out. I mean, a lot of money. We dumped a lot of money out and didn't make a quarter of it back doing just merch, so. My cookbooks, like I said, my cookbooks, or Holly's cookbooks, I should say. Are right here on Spars Outdoors, right on in the kitchen with Holly. Um, she could do a cookbook, but maybe down the road maybe we'll do something like that. He said he can get Josh. I can get it published free. 
Oh, okay, Mom, all right. Yeah, Josh, we'll talk, man. Maybe we'll do something about it. Maybe we'll do something about it. Coloring book day. Eh? That'd be neat. The coloring book? <laughs> That'd be funny. Get a picture of Sean standing. As far as book, I could, I could probably do a tip book. That'd be cool. But yeah, we should link up real soon and go fishing, guys. It, it, he says, King Salmon says, smells good from here. It does, it smell, does smell It good. smells so, our, our house smells amazing right now. I should open up the windows and piss the neighbors off. Oh, the windows open. Is it? Uh -huh. oh, we're going to have them mad again. Listen to this stuff. Listen to this. Look at that, guys. More over there ready to go. She's getting two pans going. Is that a cast iron over there? Paul? That is a cast iron. She pulled out the cast iron. My beautiful wife. Say hi to everybody, hon. Hi. <laughs> Did you get my address, Sean? King Salmon. They are delicious. I guarantee that. I haven't had none, but I can tell you they're going to be. Actually, King Salmon, I think I did get your address. Don't we have something for King Salmon? Yes, we do. So you I can did. actually try that. I got a cough dropping right now. Um, King oh, Salmon. Uh, oh, look, well, Kylie's doing a taste test. That's really good. Is it really good? It's really good. Okay. Now, are we putting cream cheese or anything over top of it? Or? No. No? Okay. You'll see how it goes. Hold on. I'm going to see how it goes. I got to wait. Relax. I got to relax, guys. She told me to relax. Um, I was up at Jay's today, Marine Hardware, and... <laughs> you better get your Lathams now. That's all I'm going to say. Better get in there and get them while you can. Because he's almost out. He's got more coming Saturday. He does have more coming Saturday. Um, but the chromes are about done. So you better hurry up and get in there. King, King said he's looking forward to it. Yeah, we do got your address. We do got to get it shipped out. Uh, we've just been ill, man. So, uh, have her send it again, or you send it again. However, I forgot how it come through, but send it again. I think it was an email, maybe. I don't remember. Um, that way, I, I sure I have it again. We're gonna bite the smell of venison one day. Holly, <laughs> you pass it through the TV function. <laughs> that hot dog one still is not there. That hot dog was going to be very hard to come by, guys. Very, very hard to come by. And I will say this: if you're going to get the hot dog, it's, I don't know if he's going to even do them. He is going to do them, but he's going to do no, a select saying, yeah, few. It's, be... it's a very hard color for him to paint. It takes him a lot of time because he's got to take a whole day away from his normal colors that he paints to paint that lure. And I know they are going to be a little more costly. I think like three dollars more than what what he gets for them. John. I'd have to ask John that. I don't know if John Latham's still on here or not. No, he said he had to go. Did he? Mm -hmm. Okay. Have to ask John on that. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to go. And right there, guys, right here under Toe Thompson, place an order for them. I got a discount code. Message me if you want to place an order for them. That's the tungstens I've been using over on the island and banger hand tie jig tip of the thump and plastic. But them undercoat tungstens have been on fire. And so it has the banger hand tie jig nymph. It is worth it though. Yep, it is worth it. Absolutely. Internal temp cell down. No, it's these ones might be a little overdone. Uh oh. It's alright. I ain't worried about it. It's a tender meat and they taste amazing. Yep. So
What do you suggest for a hand tied jig? What style? What color? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Banger hand tied jigs. Uh, message him. Tell him you want the colors that as far as outdoors gets. Message Banger hand tied jigs on Facebook. He knows all my colors and everything I use, and he'll hook you up. Uh, probably give you a good deal. Just tell him you've seen it on Spars Outdoors. Then Banger Hand Tied Jigs is the only jigs I use uh, that are hand tied. So nobody else makes nothing like them. Uh, he's doing rabbit ear hair ones. He's doing it's just there's so many he doesn't sickening. His gill ticklers, some of my favorites. Um, and I kept the thumpings right on there, and it's a it's a deadly combo for fish. Spars Blue Balls, absolutely. Uh, definitely order some of the blue balls off of them. They're a great color. They're a great color. Uh, Dan Gark's going to be coming back out that color. He says nobody is. Oh, Holly's doing another taste test here. I can't help it. How is it? Let me see. I got it out of my... Let's see here. Let, let the real judge decide. Let the real judge decide. Guys, it's spot on. Oh my gosh, is that good? You got a ton of thumbs, that's good. <laughs> Man. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. I'm having Hawaiian pizza on flour tortillas tonight. That sounds good. I can't have that with all them carbs, but that sounds good. You ever walk over to the meat counter at the grocery store and laugh at the half rod? Oh yeah, I do. Yes, I do, Larry. Please do not get him started on that conversation. I'm gonna don't go there. I went okay. to a I went to the fish counter and I was looking at some walleye. I'm, two stories here. I was looking at some walleye and uh, the guy come up and it said fresh walleye. He come up. $17 a pound, too, by the way, because they're so fresh. He came up to me and he's like, would you like to get some of those walleye? I said, no, they're not fresh. He goes, oh, yeah, they're fresh. I said, yep, fresh off the truck. And he goes, no, them are fresh caught walleye. I said, yep. I said, I'm, I'm a walleye fisherman. I do a lot of walleye fishing, actually. I've got some out in the, out in the vehicle. Uh, walleye is not yellow meat, bud. Uh, there's not supposed to be yellow hue. It's white. And I took him in a perfectly <laughs> bled out walleye play. That was white. And I said, that's a fresh walleye play. He walked away. Different instance. Guy told me, fresh salmon plays. Yep. Bright red. The brightest red you can think. King salmon. Bright red salmon play. And he's like, checking out the salmon I see. I was like, yeah. I was like, just looking at all the dye you put in him, you know. Because I was like, I got two king salmon in the car. <laughs> yeah. I'll flay them right now and bring a flay in. I just caught them less than an hour ago. I'll bring a flay in and flay them in front of you and show you what it's supposed to look like, and they made me leave the store. But yeah, so I, I, I do go over there and mess with them sometimes. Yep. Not a lot of carbs, that's why I use the tortillas. Oh, got you, John. Well, they also make the low carb tortillas, which you like, by the way. Mayor, no, we're not making pancakes. Does that look like a pancake? Well, I'm sure that's a spammer. Well, it might be, but... Nope. Pheasant, bud. Hopefully you're not a spammer, and I apologize for my comment if you aren't, but... Never seen you here before. Uh, it's good to have new subscribers, of How course, but... Doing? I apologize if you're not a spammer. I've got so many people that are spamming. 29 people watching, only 16 likes. That's an instant, instant red flag. He said, I got your pancake right here. <laughs> oh, these smell good. They smell so good. Still got, what, a half a dozen? Of you? No, about a dozen. No. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At least ten. 
so close to a dozen. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Oh, she's panning some. She's panning some. <coughs> and do they look delicious? Do they look delicious? I see she's got some other stuff on the counter over there. I don't know what it's for, but I'm sure she's going to just know over here. Oh, that's for the other part of it. Okay. So there's no more parts left. No, we didn't use all the pheasants, Bob. No, we did not. So there's more to this when, when she's done uh, with these as well. So I think that's the part that I, I was wondering where it went. So it's going to come yet. You need more? Yeah, sure. Yes, I do. Bring me some more. Bring me some more. I'll take as many as you can bring. Absolutely. He's going to have to stay one day and actually taste it. Yeah, you're going to have to stay one day and eat some. Bob's wife and him, they make good recipes for him, too. Oh, well, I'm my sure he God. Does. That's, that's kind of why I want him here, so he can be like, no. We're, what that's we're going to start doing, guys, and I think I mentioned this before, is like, since I'm doing giveaways every other Thursday, which I missed last Thursday, so this Thursday will be a giveaway. Um... I think what we're going to start doing is like a day with Bob Barham on a Thursday that I'm not doing a giveaway. A day with John Latham. A day with Dan Gark. A day with Banger Hand Tied Jigs. A day at Jay's, you know. Just to kind of just discuss. To, just to kind of discuss things that are going on with what they've got going on around the area, so. Or kind of That's, discuss how the hunts go with the Rooster Ranch, or? Oh, yeah, yeah, Josh. Those were good dinners, man. No time to fish, but... Some steelhead being had in Lexington today. Yeah, they've been getting some up there. I know. They have. They've been getting some up there. I gotta get up there. I might go in the morning, actually. Uh, pheasant. Uh, Florentine's cooking. Right now we got the pheasant. I'll turn this around. We got the pheasant going. Uh, a lot of it's done. We got one more drop here. And then that'll be done. And then there's some more stuff to add to it. And thanks to everybody for being here. And everybody that has hit that like. Absolutely, buddy. Head up there. Head up there. I might be heading up there in the morning, actually. Maybe. I'm going to look at the weather. It's going to be real windy. I'm not going to go up if it's real windy. Adding a little more butter to the pan, it looks like. Nope, that's going to be going in this right here. Oh, okay, let me turn this. The pan that I have, uh, it's not really big enough for what's coming next, so. Do you want to tell what's coming next yet or no? Not yet. Okay, it's a secret. Perfect. It's a secret for now. I'm going to buy a pheasant from you. I never find any. Kids really can't afford much. I'll plan ran, honey. You don't sell the birds. He gives me another batch, Josh. You can come over here and I'll give you a couple. Uh, Josh said the wife loves your kitchen decor. Thank you. <laughs> Even this board behind me, uh, I kind of took up her decor. <laughs> yeah, the mirror that was up there, Sean freaking hit with a fishing rod and broke it, so. That's, there's a true story to that. I hit it with a fishing rod and broke the mirror. Not on purpose. Oh, no. If it would have been on purpose. Mm -hmm. And there's baby papers. What's going on, Peeperoni? Do you want to come out here and start with Daddy for a minute? Okay, Peyton coming to say hi, guys. Yes, the Rooster Ranch did give them the spars on doors, and we really appreciate that. So here she is, the beautiful Peyton. Peyton, look at Peyton. Say hi, everybody. 
Say hi. Say hello. She just woke up from a nap. Say hi. Just woke up from a nap. Say hello. Peyton, say hello. Peyton. Say hi, everybody. She's not having it. And Frank says, hello, boss lady. Oh, she is. Bless she her. sure is. <coughs> Kate, look at Look at say. Hi. Oh, she's looking at everything but that. Say hello. Hi. Welcome back to Spars Outdoors of Mommy Cooking in the Kitchen for my daddy. Say, I am Peyton, and that's Daddy. <laughs> Everybody's saying, hey, beautiful. Everybody's saying, hey. <laughs> Daddy's gonna get you. Daddy's gonna get you. <laughs> What's Mommy cooking? Mommy's getting kind of impatient because it takes So she got down out of that chair by herself. <laughs> yep. Oh, she's talking away. <laughs> yeah, she loves to smile. Hey, what's up, Al? What's going on, buddy? We got some pheasant going. Look at that. Pheasant. Everybody's saying hi, Peyton. Everybody's saying hi. Peyton. Er, Peyton. Peyton, look at Everybody's saying hi. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. Look, she's laying over there. <laughs> oh, what was that girl you looking for? Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. I know this is crazy, but I want to try Starling Breast Blaze. No pheasants around my place. But only shot one, take down 30 starlings. <laughs> Man, uh, I don't know. They might not be bad, let me know. If they're good, I'll try it, absolutely. We called those long tail rabbits. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Bob says try blue jays. She is really growing. She is. She's trying to reach for that hot pan as well. Yeah, that's not. But daddy's got to. Daddy's got to move you over here, baby girl. Yep. And then you can get into everything, right? Yeah. Look it. There you are, right there. There you are. Say hi. There you go. She's saying hi, everybody. She's a little wild, child. She does knock everything off the table, Al. Well, she's trying to do it right now, laptop and everything. Oh, boy. She is a cutie. Her hair is everywhere, always. Say, my hair is wild. <laughs> Peyton, say hi. Hi. Say, were you in the kitchen with Mama? I got the butter in this pan. Okay, so let me turn this to Holly. What's going on? I've got the melted butter and a little bit of olive oil in this pan. And now I'm going to do approximately two tablespoons of garlic. It's probably more, but I love garlic, so it's, it's fine. Okay. There you have it. Oh, uh oh. She cut something. Uh oh. Oh boy. I don't know what she did. Holy cow. She does want some of the pheasant. Absolutely. Nope, no starling recipe. I can come up with one though, but I mean. Yeah, we love garlic. <laughs> I 
No, way, I haven't been back over on the island. I'm about to upload our video that we were on the island tomorrow, though. Or no, I think I already uploaded the one. With, yeah, I already uploaded the one with you. Uh, did I? No, I don't know. No, I didn't. The one that we did with you is going to be uploaded tomorrow, Al. That'll be on Spars Outdoors tomorrow. John Kuzak says he's going to have a granddaughter any day now. Congratulations, John. Girls are a blast until they start whining. Yeah. 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 Instrument, instrumental conductor. Who's that there? This is my beautiful daughter. I'm hitting the like button so you can get weller soon. I appreciate that. How's it going, Robert? Her name's Peyton. This is this is Peyton. <clears throat> no, no, Pete. No, no. No, no. So. You just headbutted daddy. Ouchie. Ouchie. Bump, 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 bump. Look at this little crazy girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Bump, 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 bump. bump, bump. We're going to add a half a cup of chicken broth. A let's, let's turn this to Holly. Half a cup of chicken broth. Half a cup of chicken broth. I hope I got that. If I didn't, I'm sorry. And then a quarter teaspoon of Italian seasoning. A quarter teaspoon of Italian yeah. seasoning. And just stir it in. Mm -hmm. Is that all you're adding? For now. Okay, for now. Because I'm going to let that cook for mm, about three minutes over medium heat. Three minutes over medium heat. Just going to let that cook. About three minutes. I always wonder how people grow from such crumbs. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get your... Uh, Probably saying like because when you know a human starts off they're very tiny and then they grow oh, yeah. from almost nothing. Oop, somebody had the comment. Had somebody's comment. No, it's just it <laughs> uh, you're right, Bob, I see your comment. Your comment's being held for review, Bob. Yeah, I tried hitting show and it's just Another not moderate, me. yeah, show. Yeah, it's not letting me. It won't let me. Ain't nothing wrong with the comment. Nothing wrong with the comment, Bob. But yes, that's this is a nice pile of breath. Absolutely. That's what they are, pheasant breaths. Yeah. I mean, there might have been an innuendo there, but that's, I mean... That's up to us. Right. <coughs> you want to go play with your kaboys? Yeah. Owie. Ouchie, ouchie. Ouchie, 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 ouchie. <laughs> ouchie, ouchie. You see Peyton beating the crap out of Daddy here? Ouchie, ouch. Ouch. Man, she's tearing me up. Oh, you see mama playing with your toys? Is that your toys? <laughs> I think dad's here. What? There she goes. See you in a bit. Alright. Now I'm bringing this back in. It's okay, Nate. At least you're here, man. Better late than never. Um, we're having pheasant Florentine tonight, and the pheasant's done. But she's cooking the other stuff in there. And I forgot what it was. Chicken broth, garlic, butter. Onion. Onion. A little bit of olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. 
We already tasted the pheasant and spot on. Eat duck, greasy but growing on way. <laughs> hey, does your son do you like his designs and his rods? Awesome. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Uh, very hard to do, but he does do them. Um, like a little more costly there, but absolutely he does. He's so for sure. Yeah. Yep. She says you can't cough, you can't get sick. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. She was spanking me for it. <clears throat> Just getting over the stuff. Hopefully I'm getting over it. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. I think I am. Definitely another one. Asparagus hunting soon. Uh, not too soon. It's going to be end of March, early April. But soon enough. Yeah, Al, I got bronchitis and an upper respiratory infection. I'm getting over it, though. Yeah, Josh, send him a message. He's actually making a rod right now. I'm going to have him do, once he gets the eyes on it, and he's got custom eyes and all this stuff, man. It's absolutely awesome what he's doing. When he gets the rod to where it's just drying and rolling or whatever, I'll have him put a little video on there for you guys. Um, I help him admin the page, along with Mr. John Latham, but... Uh, it's hard for me to keep up on everything I do, let alone that, so I try to help when I, when I can. Uh, Frank, you still sick, buddy? Uh, just drive down the side of the road, Josh. Look for asparagus. You'll have to go with me one day. I'll show you some key tips and tricks on where to find it, how to find it, and when you're going to find it, and where you're going to find it at the best. And you better get it before the bugs get Yeah, Al. That sucks, man. I am too, Nate. I'm ready to put some put some long beards down, man. You gotta be longer than my beard. You gotta be longer than my beard. I do very well turkey hunting. Children require so much attention they must always be carried in your arms. Japanese massages. Notice that children under six years old need to be carried in their arms so that they feel. Trust me, that little girl is held yeah. non-stop. Oh, she has held non-stop, non-stop. <coughs> Turkey season's coming up. <coughs> Watched a bunch of thunder chickens over at the property where I hunt the other day. About well, 60 of them, actually. Uh, five of them had ropes that were hanging underneath them. Um, three of them dragging the ground. One of them real thick dragging the ground. There's one I got my eyeball. I'm eyeballing him. One big eyeball on it's not the longest beard there, but it's, I don't know, I like the bird. It's like a nine-inch beard. It's got a little cool design to his beard. Hopefully I get it. Uh, the kids can blast all the monsters. I just want to get that one for some reason. I, if I don't get it, I don't get it. But he's a cool-looking bird. Tick season, absolutely. We love to take, we take the ticks right along with them turkeys. <laughs> no. I get about 80 a year on me. Uh... More. That's why more. Holly does not turkey hunt. Holly don't like like turkey hunt because of the ticks. But I, I usually get eighty to ninety ticks per year on me at least. Uh, one time I had twenty seven on me at once. No kidding. That's not a lot. It was so bad that we ended up. I took a, an old um, empty water bottle and I filled it like halfway up with rubbing alcohol. And as we were pulling them off the shot, I just kept putting them in the bottle so it could keep fresh. Yep. Ticks. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, him to dinner. Yep, went to the doctor and said I had a pneumonia, but we're kind of getting rest. Yeah. John, man, it seems like you're, o or, uh, Frank, you're always at the doctor, man. You can't seem to catch a break. Anybody doing spring turkey with the youth, send your tag in, Phil, or not. The Wild Turkey Foundation. Send out patches and stickers. That's cool, Josh. That's cool. Uh... I'm going to be doing some turkey hunt giveaways pretty soon. Oh, Holly's going to show you a little another trick right here. Okay, so we're going to do, now this is reduced a little bit, we're going to add a cup of and a half oh, a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream of heavy whipping cream and then we're just going to continue to 
Simmer that on like a medium mesh heat. Make her a roux. So that's what's going on now, y'all. Yeah, this <laughs> You get a lot, yeah, because when, when you're mushroom hunting, you're right during turkey season, so just that time of year, man, that spring, you know. I I went down in some tall grass fish and cast and twisters uh, in there behind Dunn Paper Mill and had five, ten ticks on me in the middle of the night. So if you're in weeds in the spring, chances are you're going to catch some ticks on you. <coughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we find a lot of morels while we're turkey hunting. We find a lot of morels while we're turkey hunting. A lot of morels. Usually when we're in between turkey hunts, we're looking for morels. So, always fun. It's, it's nice that when you're down looking for morels and you hear a tom gobble three, four hundred yards off, two hundred yards off, and you close distance quick, throw up a decoy, hit the call, and have one. Remember that time, hunt? We had them three come running in, and Sean blasted that one. Mm -hmm. Hit him right in the eyeball. I mean, we had them. And they thought they were gone. Uh, they were gobbling, 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 and just shut up. I told my son, I said, get your gun up. He said, Dad, they stopped gobbling. I said, get your gun up. They were about 200 yards the last time we heard them gobble. He got his gun up. He got ready. I hit the call, and they gobbled 30 feet to our right. And here they come running out, beards just a-swinging. He said, which one? I said, the first one. <laughs> and he got him, and I rolled the second one when he tried taking off. We ended up two-bird day. Uh, two-bird morning, two-bird... Two bird hunt about 50 morels. That was a good day. I know. Hold on. Very interesting, Holly, but it's starting to get complicated. I'm simple. <laughs> John, well, that's so, as complicated as it gets. That's yeah, it. That's, that's it, that's, John. That's that's. Well, that's there's like a little bit more, but that's. I mean, that's the most complicated part. Right? Yep, that's the most complicated part. I know, baby. Hold yes, on. they do, Robert. Yes, they do. That's Christmas for from oh my <laughs> Thanks, Al. I appreciate that, man. I have called in a lot of birds. Uh, called in your first bird from along, from across the road, across the railroad tracks, across the woods, across the water, and I got that bird coming in hammering to you, man. And we got that on film. That was a good hunt, man. That was a great time. That was a big bird, big old time. Had damn near two inch spurs on him. He was a big bird. I told you when we seen it, I said, that's a boss. We need to get that bird. And I, I, if I get him fired up, he was with six hounds. We seen him. I said, if I can get that bird fired up and come over to this property, we're going to get him. And it happened. It took about 45 minutes. And I had him plopping. That was a good hunt. One of the most, most uh, memorial hunts that I'll ever, that I've ever been on, honestly. I mean. That, just the way that worked out, you usually cannot break one single time off of nine hens. And alone to call it across railroad tracks, to call it across the road, across two different, pro three different properties, to get him to come to you, <laughs> and across water. He walked through water where his belly was in the water. That's That alone is hard to do. I need to learn to use a diaphragm call. I suck with the little call, slate call, or box call. I'm good, but no mouth calling for me. Uh, I do got mouth calls. I rarely use them. Uh, I use slate calls. I, a lot of pot calls. I love my pot calls. I use tons of pot calls. My, that's your slate, your glass, your, your uh, uh, hickory, all that stuff. Um, it's just, that's the calls I, I prefer. Yep, we did. We, we called in some turkeys one day and we killed a coyote too doing so. Yep, we double smashed that thing. And he's sucking up Japanese beetles with the dust buster. <laughs> hey. Oh. Them beetles, if you put, in a spray bottle, if you put water and a ton of Dawn dish soap, you spray them within like a few seconds, them things die. There you go. Dawn dish soap and water. Spray them, and they're done. Okay, so Holly's just stirring this. We'll get back over here on her. And then what's going to happen? So we're an hour and 20 in already. Okay, so, and then I'm going to add a little bit of fresh Parmesan cheese, like about a quarter cup. Uh, wait till that melts. And then you add 
four cups of fresh baby spinach. Cook that until just until it wilts, and then you put your that over your chick or your pheasant, or you put your pheasant on that. That's it. Okay, so we'll let her get to doing that. We'll wait because we got to show them a finished product, babe. So how long are we looking at? Momentarily. Okay. That sauce is going to hit when reduced. Yeah. Do what? That sauce is going to hit when, re when it's reduced. Yes. Yep. It will. And one of the other better things that I can suggest while cooking is to clean as you go so that way you're not worried about... Well, I mean, I've got real bad OD OCD. Hey, so. tip... Uh, um, advice one. Clean as you go. Advice two. Don't sit in the kitchen with Holly when your belly is very hungry because most people probably aren't going to get anything to eat, right? And uh, tip three would be uh, just we'll go back to tip two. Tip three will repeat itself because I'm about to eat half of these pheasants myself. Okay? I could just, they're over there just staring at me. They're staring at me. Simmer down now. Yep, absolutely. Anybody not patient enough just needs to taste test the final product. Absolutely. Great job, Holly. You have grown to be perfectly comfortable in the kitchen in front of, or in front of the camera. She has. She has. Well, I'm working on it. I just, I don't know. I've never been one of those people that likes all eyes on me. I don't yes, know. John, the spinach is the vegetables. Absolutely. I didn't even think about, I didn't even know she was doing that. So, that is the vegetable to go with us, yep. What? He said the uh, spinach is going to be the vegetables with us. That's, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, <clears throat> I still like vegetables to go with it. But... She grabbed a gun case. Of course she did. So, mm -hmm. my daughter's out there grabbing gun cases. No, there's no guns in the case. Okay? No, they're locked in the safe. They're locked in the safe. Mm -hmm. Well, she's grabbing the gun case like, Daddy, let's go. I smell pheasants. Let's go shoot some. This little girl knows. She already knows how to use a fishing pole. Ten months old. She caught her first fish. Well, how old was she? Well, how long ago was the first fish caught? It was like six six months old. No, it's older than that. Seven. I want to say eight. Nine, eight eight. Eight months old. She caught her first fish. Probably shoot her first deer at three years old. This this I'm I'm telling you, man. This girl's gonna be a beast. Yes, Holly and the cooking show has come a long way, and I can see. it. Yeah, I, it's going to get better. It's going to get absolutely better. And thanks for all the support from you guys. Uh, we appreciate it. Every bit of it. Um, it just it just helps, you know. Having that support system behind you helps with everything. So. <clears throat> and we thank you guys. We thank you guys a lot. Don't get angry because it smells better than Jimmy John's. It does. It does. So she's just sticking this up right now as she's stirring it. Right? I'm right. She's just thickening it up. Happy birthday. No problem. No problem. If you're here, I'd give you a piece of this pheasant. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. So, uh, this Thursday is going to be giveaway Thursday. Um, don't know what we're doing yet, but it's going to be an awesome giveaway. As always. As always. Don't even know what we got to give away yet, but it'll be an awesome giveaway. Somebody wants something cool. Um, my giveaways are pretty big for being a small time channel. Um, I'll, don't ask me how I do it. I, I'll just... 
It is what it is, but this Thursday will be giveaway Thursdays. Uh, <clears throat> missed last week's chat on Thursday because of due to sickness. Missed last week's time to get to the holly due to sickness, but yeah, so she's pulling out some veggies over here. Some spinach. We're an hour and 25 in. Thanks to everybody who stuck this out so far. Uh, yes, John, it's supposed to. <clears throat> Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, it will. It'll warm it back up. Cause that, it's been sitting there for quite some time. I was thinking the same thing. Mom, mom, mom. I know, baby. <laughs> I know. Do I need to stir this? I can try to give you advice, man. What advice you need? Yes, it does, Larry. Absolutely, it does. <clears throat> Thanks, Robert, for being here, man. We appreciate you. Nope, I don't give dating advice, man. Uh, this is not a dating channel. I'm sorry. No, a spammer. It's almost the same stuff every time. Adios. I couldn't tell you how many times I've heard that. So as you can see, Holly is working with the baby on her hip. Getting you guys dizzy yet? Getting you guys dizzy yet? She's just still pretty thin. I think it's supposed to be thicker. Oh, yeah. That's getting there, though. I think you added too much whipping cream. She added too much heavy whipping cream. She loves that stuff, so I know she did that on purpose. <whistles> Hi, baby. Good day, five. High five. No? Okay. High five. Yeah. Thanks for being here, Robert. We appreciate you staying as long as you did. This is a long in the kitchen with Holly. Huh. Like I said, you know, I'm not no professional chef or no nothing like that, so. We could make these into videos where I could edit them down and you guys could watch them. But I think the live thing and talking to people is pretty awesome. What do you guys think? I'll take any advice. If you guys would rather see these in shorter form videos, let me know. If you like it live, we'll keep it live. I'd rather keep it live, honestly. Absolutely, don't let nobody get me down. There is pike to be caught. You like it this way? Okay, good. It is looking good, Al. Now she's adding the spinach to it. She's adding the spinach to it. We're, we're bearing with her. Alright, I appreciate that, Bob. We'll keep it this way. 19 people watching and 19 likes. That tells me no spammers. That tells me no spammers. You like it live? Okay, awesome. We'll keep it live. We'll keep it live. <laughs> me too, John. I know this hour and a half stuff's getting to me. Yeah, I'll keep it live. It is nice to chat back and forth. That's why every other Thursday is just going to be a chatting with you guys, you know? Something, I think that's something cool. I think that's something cool. Peyton likes the fun. We definitely need a lot of support on this channel. Uh, 
We need people to share videos. We need people to keep subscribed. We need people to do what they can to help the channel grow. Absolutely, we need that. So, uh, hopefully you guys can help out with that. So, you're just mixing the spinach right in with that stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a lot of spinach. You mind your business on how much vegetables are in there, boy. I'm minding my business now, yeah. <coughs> After a busy day, I like to chat. Yeah, I know you do, Bob. And after we eat dinner, I'll give you a holler. I'll give you a holler after we eat dinner. We're gonna work. I'm gonna call you to chat anyway. Spinach, keep the camera on Holly. She loves it. <laughs> hey, Al, do you love your valve stems? <laughs> she did put spinach in there. She mixed it all together. Still not as thick as I'd like it, but... No, too much whipping cream. Actually, I think it was the broth. Okay, too much broth. Oh, Either. actually, I forgot a step because Peyton was... Oh, uh, yeah, you did. Peyton's... Here. No, this. I'll do it. We forgot to add the Parmesan cheese. Yep. Sorry, guys. We'll add the Parmesan that's cheese. supposed to be a quarter cup. Well, that's about a quarter cup. That's about two cups. Okay, that'll thicken it up. Well, we're going to have extra Parmesan cheese in there, ladies and gentlemen, because Sean likes to uh, I, dip I, his nose. You know, I put the Parmesan cheese in there. It'll help thicken it up. You can't even tell it's in there. All right. It probably needs more. That half a cup didn't work. You want the rest of it? That wasn't a half a cup, Sean. That was half a bag. Yeah. All right, guys. So... If you want it cheesy, go ahead, add more. I do want it cheesy. Okay. Here we go. See, when they say have a cup, use the whole bag. Don't let them mess with you. Oop. I missed the trash can, too. <laughs> Absolutely, Josh, yep. Yep, they do put a lot of ads on stuff. Just depends on if people skip them or not, you know. So, want me to stir this up? Oh, uh, yeah. It did thicken it up a little that time. Oh, yeah. Well, I knew it was going to, but again, you know, trying to. Here, I'll turn this camera to this one. You got it now? Yeah. All right. It thickened it up nice. So, what's the next I mean, step? Especially after when that? you're dealing with, you know, when you're trying to cook and you got kids and everything like that. I mean, stuff happens and you just make do and. There you go. Yep. So what are we doing with it now? What are we doing with it now? We're just heating it to mix that extra ton of cheese through. Okay. It already melted. Uh, not all of it. And then what we can do is... I just pour it right over all that. No. Okay. I guess not. I'm wrong. Usually. So you put some pheasant on the plate. So there is a finished product, y'all. Right there. And it looks delicious. Holy cow, does that look delicious? My goodness. That's funny, Larry. <laughs> yes. So, it looks very good. I'm just waiting for a fork here. I'm going to cut into it and show y'all. I'll show y'all real, real quick here. I want a, you want a different fork? A different fork. That one's bent. I don't, know, I don't know if I'll need a knife or we'll just cut. No, I don't need a knife. I don't think you would. Cut right through it. So, we'll do the taste test here. It's so tender you can cut right through it with a fork. You've seen that. Here it goes, y'all. 
ほんま And you can taste that hunt chef so good. Wow, is that awesome. So, there's a recipe you guys can try. I recommend this highly. Above anything we've cooked so far, I recommend trying this. And, uh, wow, that's the best pheasant I've ever had, honestly. So... <laughs> We'll see you guys on Thursday. I'm going to get into tearing this up. Holly, tell everybody thanks for watching and yeah, whatever you want to say. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, we're definitely going to try and not eat every bit of this. Yeah, that's not going to happen. This stuff's so good. She hasn't even got to try it yet. It's so good. You know what? We want to watch her take a bite. Here goes her bite. We're going to watch her take a bite before we get off here. And see what she thinks. It's really good. It's really good. All right, guys. So, thanks everybody for being here, sticking it out for an hour and thirty hour and forty minutes. By the time I'm done and hit done on this, so thanks everybody again. Keep on liking, keep on sharing, keep on watching. Spars Outdoors. We'll see you on Thursday for the giveaway, and I'm sure I'll put a post up on how that's gonna go or whatever. Um, all donations. Anybody that wants to donate to a giveaway, get a hold of me. Send me a message on Sean's uh, on Facebook, Sean Spar. Um, and, you know, super chat, super sticker, stuff like that. Go a long way with this channel. They help future giveaways. But we'll see you anyways. We'll see you this Thursday for a giveaway. We're probably going to probably gonna do a, who knows. We'll see you Thursday for a giveaway. Thanks, everybody, for staying and watching us. Thanks, Bob, for these pheasants and ducks. Thanks to all my subscribers and all my supporters. And we're going to get out fishing together here real soon. Uh, everybody say a prayer that we get over this stuff and the sickness is done in this household and I feel better tomorrow. So thanks everybody again for watching. We'll see you right here on Thursday, 7 o'clock for my giveaway. Have a good one, folks.